All right, Shalom, Shalom, Akim. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakadash. I'd like to give double honors to my apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, who rule well and taught me this truth according to the Bible. And Shalom to the brothers out there throughout the full, because our refreshing this word and our righteousness and sincerity. To the elect, we say Shalom, Shalom. All right, Brother Kazapa from Jimmy's Rally, now can I come back with another quick lesson? Do the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And, um, this is going to be a GMS newspaper, a.k.a. in the news, okay? And um, I got a few articles here, you know, of the Lord just, uh, you know, bringing out judgment, okay? All right? Straight judgment and spirit, you know, I sent it to brothers. And brothers like, you should do a lesson on it. I was like, so in spirit, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, go ahead and do that, you know? Um, so um, <clears throat> one of the uh, articles I got here, and this is from... Um, front page of detectives okay breaking news it says yeah it says he deleted his mother and pregnant wife with a baseball bat he called meet him outside okay all right no joke this is really what's on the on the news man y'all see it Y'all see it. All right. It's real. All right. Can't be. We're not making this stuff up. Okay. Going into the article. It says a former Georgia high school football player star deleted his mother and pregnant wife. Now he will never. He says this month. A fake a county a superior. Court senior judge uh, Arch McGelly sentenced Johnny Thomas Edwards the fourth, 34, to life in prison without the possibility of total deletion of his mother, Dr. Kathy Evans, and his pregnant wife, uh, Venus uh, Qu Quantic. 31 it says in exchange for dropping two felony charges edwards pleaded guilty but mentally ill to two court two counts of uh, malice deletion and one court of uh feticide okay which means what the uh the deletion of a, a, a unborn baby okay it says, uh, this case is truly heartbreaking and horrific. No, it isn't. Okay. As Brother uh, Hawaii, uh, Hawaii and Raleigh, North Carolina would say, man, it's a good thing. Okay. A good thing. All right. All right. This is the judgment of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. And this is the mind frame we got to have towards the Lord. Okay. All right. When the Lord starts judging these people, okay, it is a good thing. That the Lord judges people in such a horrible manner. Okay. Let's see. Get this scripture. Uh, judge. Let's lock it. Let's look for the scripture real fast. It says. Because the scriptures tell you that what? Every day does Yahweh Bashmael Shah bring forth his judgment to light. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's lucky. Bear with me. This is, uh, yep. <clears throat> this is Book of Micah, chapter 7, verse 9. It says, No, it's locky, locky. That's that's not it. It says do you bring this? there we go. Here it is. And this is Zephaniah chapter three, verse five. It says, The just Yahweh. Alright, alright, off oh, rip. The heavenly father is just, righteous in everything he does. So when the Lord had this man, okay, alright, delete his mother and his pregnant wife, 
with a baseball bat. Okay, we'll show you that how <laughs> that was a spirit created for vengeance, man. Okay, you know, this is a good thing. This is a good thing that Yahweh Bashmiel Shai did that, man. Okay, who you knows that his mother was a doctor? Okay, you know, she was probably pushing forth that jab. Okay, you know, his wife uh, probably had a promiscuous past. All right, says she was pregnant. Who knows if that was his uh, 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 child or not? No, indeed. But the Lord saw the fit for that to happen. Okay. It says, <clears throat> Zephaniah 3 and 5. It says, The just Yahweh is in the midst of us. See, the Lord is in the midst. Okay. The Lord has the angels are in the men that he put down on earth to see all the wickedness. The Lord's, the Lord's here seeing all this stuff, man. Okay. You know, it says, What? The just Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Meaning, what, what the Lord does is not wicked. Okay. All right, for the Lord to put that spirit on that man to do that, man, it's, it was righteous, okay? It says, every morning do he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust know no shame. All right, so every what? Every morning does the Yahweh Shimei Shai bring his judgment to light, all right? And with that experience right there, all right, was the judgment of Yahweh Shimei Shai. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. Y'all can read it. Can't make that up, man. All right, he was spirit created for vengeance. Let's get that. You know, because the Lord's gonna bring more more spirits out just like this. Okay. Read it. Yep, this is the book of. <clears throat> um, this is the book of Ecclesia. Uh. Yeah, Ecclesiastes, also known as Sirach 30 and 28. It says, there be spirits that are created for vengeance. Now, when you go look into that word vengeance, all right? And matter of fact, let's get the entomology of that word vengeance. All right, vengeance. It says, vengeance is, an, is a noun from um, Anglo-French, vengeance from Old French, vengeance. It says, revenge. Or retribution, okay. It says to take revenge, uh, to claim as one's own av avenge or punishment, or to vindicate. So Yahweh Shmuel Shai said that what vengeance is what the, the the vindication or the retribution of the Lord, and the retribution means to pay back. So what you're paying back for the iniquity that you committed, the Lord bring evil upon you, all right, through another spirit, okay. To, to what? To bring harm to you, okay? That's what that means by what? The Lord has created spirits for vengeance, all right? Those spirits are created to what? enact evil upon somebody for the evil that they done. It says, an uh, entomony gives you, um, even an <laughs> entomony gives you a scripture. It says, um, it says, vengeance is mine, save the Lord. Matter of fact, let's get that. It's Romans, um, I believe it's Romans 12, 19 and 20. Let's get that. It even tells you an entomon about vengeance of the Lord. That's crazy. It's, uh, it, says, it says Romans. Was it 12, 19? Uh. Let's get that. Yeah, this is the book of Romans. Stop you. Get it still. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is, yeah, twelve. Yeah, I knew, I knew it. <clears throat> yeah, this is Romans twelve and nineteen. It says, "But 
dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, what vengeance is mine, and I will repay. I will Bahashim Yahushai. Okay, so it's the Lord that said, vengeance is mine. Okay, and the Lord is going to pay back. Okay, Let's see if. Uh, Yep. Let's see. Another way of uh, definition of a vengeance is it says to vindicate. And vindicate means to avenge or have revenge too. It says revenge of a vengeance, the act of taking revenge, harming someone, and retaliation for something harmful that they have done, especially in the next life. <laughs> See, and it's very important. It said, "What in the next life? So what? Your vengeance is gonna come onto you in the next life, which this is the next life for what you did in your past life, man. It's this spirit's created to get you for what you did. Okay. <coughs> this is um. Let's see, this is um. Going back to that scripture." Spirit is created for vengeance. It says, um, this is the book of Stocky. This is the book of Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus. Chapter, uh, I believe it's 30. 30 and 28. Or is it 31 and 28? Let's see Stocky. This is a, a yeah, Sirach, so like Sirach or Ecclesiasticus 39 and 28. There we go. There there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury and their anger and that in that hot, passionate anger, all right, because so, to, to bash in the head of your mother and your uh, pregnant wife, that's fury. That's that's anger. Okay. It says, which in their fury lay on sore strokes, that's a sore stroke. To the head, bro. <laughs> That's a sore stroke. All right. It says. It says in in their fury lay on sore strokes in a time of destruction they pour out their force. The Lord gave that man power. All right. In a time of that that mother and that pregnant wife destruction. Guess what? That spirit created for vengeance. That man. All right. Was given the power over them. Okay. All right. The Lord gave that man power over that over, over them. To destroy them, all right. It says, In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So, what him doing that appease the wrath of the Lord? The Lord was obviously in that mother and that, that pregnant woman, okay. All right, this is of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. All these things that we're reading in news, this is of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. I got a, one more news, uh news uh, uh article and you know just ended off just some some in the news you know some in the news uh it says here's one this is uh from and this happened a, a couple days ago it says two charged after woman found hold up does it say hold up in a car near Fayetteville Hospital, okay? This is in Fayetteville, North Carolina. This happened on the 27th. Uh, so this happened over the weekend. It says, um, Fayetteville Reporter, it says, the search is on for two suspects after a woman was found in her car with uh, gunshot wounds earlier Wednesday morning in Fayetteville. Police responded to two separate calls of shots fired. Police say the initial disturbance was outside the the Manhattan Deli uh, on uh, blockage on Mill Drive uh, near Cape Fear Valley. 
center hospitals. So what the people busting at the hospitals, man. All right. And it shows you, man, look, the Lord has spirit praying for vengeance, man. Look. You can see in their faces, man. Demons, man. <laughs> the Lord got these people out here, man, created for vengeance, man. The retribute vengeance on people, man. It says, uh, it says, uh, Therese Kendo was charged with an attempted first degree deletion assault with a deadly weapon with intent to delete inflicting injuries uh, serious injuries and in shooting into an occupied vehicle he remained in Cumberland County Jail on Wednesday night under no bond it says uh, Justin Simmons was charged with uh, accessory after the fact he received a fifty thousand dollar bond for for the charge. All right, so uh, the Lord, see, it's really the Lord having all these things happen. As we read earlier, what the Lord brings His judgment forth every day, He brings it to light. Okay, and then He has His spirits created for vengeance out here, man. Okay, it says going back to the spirits created for vengeance, going down to um verse. Uh, this is a uh, uh, Sirach thirty nine and twenty nine. It says fire and hail. And famine, which is a lack of bread and water. Okay, it says in death, all these things, all these were created for vengeance. Okay, all right, retribution. Okay, all right, teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. Okay, all right, this is all done because our people are being wicked. Okay, you know, and we're gonna see more of these. Uh, Judgments play out on the earth, man. Okay, I just mainly want to get the main one, which was the first article of the of the woman, all right, and a woman and the mother being uh, deleted by the uh, her by the uh, the uh, the mother's son, and then what him deleting his mother and his wife, who was pregnant. Okay, you know, showing that the Lord is bringing out these spirits created vengeance. This is why we need to fear the God of the Bible. This is why we need to turn back to the God of the Bible, Yahweh Bashim. Yahweh will shine, okay? Because if not, you know, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, okay? And who can deliver you when you're in the hands of the Lord, man? No one, okay? All right? So just want to get that, you know, just another DNS newspaper in the news, you know, news break, okay? You know, just to, you know, edify the elect, show you forth that what the Lord is bringing judgment to light every day, okay? So with that, hopefully this is edifying to the elected nation of Israel. Let us give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father. And his only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakadash. Let it get double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and tell me the truth according to the Bible. And shalom on to the brothers out there that the full of Christian's word and our righteousness and sincerity. Until next time, to the elect, say shalom.